and welcome back to another video. Now after 20 years since the release of the first game, I'm very happy to see how much nostalgia they've kept. But today I'd like to talk about one of the new revamps that they put in the game, which is the combo. In this video, I'll be taking you through some of the stages where we can make some of those big, juicy, out of this world combos. Firstly, I'd like to say I main Axel, and with his limited movement, I've had to find many different interesting ways to keep these combos going, so let's get started. To keep these combos going, you have to be aware of hitting items, picking up food, throwing items, as well as picking up downed opponents to keep things going. And we are back on the streets. So the first thing I do is I walk forward until the first Gaussia comes. If you go up to the bin, he won't appear. And then I find that I get into a strange pattern of enemies that doesn't allow me to get to the next section properly. So the thing that I'm thinking about now is just finishing off the Y signals as soon as I can. As I can see this big group of people coming out on the left, I know I'm in the sequence that I want to be in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have two people come into my right hand side here. And the next two enemies are going to be coming to the left hand side. It's very important in this next sequence to get this done correctly. So what I'm going to do is break it down in further detail. So looking closely, I use the food to keep the combo going. I throw the first Gaussier into the wall where he will die. I neutral dump straight away where I can grab the second Gaussier and throw him not in the wall. That way I can use my jumping kicks to keep the combo going with my air special. As soon as I pick up the money, I think about finding this can on the floor so I can do my air special. This will take you into the Gaussier as he enters the stage and you need to do a combo on him to give you enough time to grab this knife to keep the combo going. Now the next thing you want to think about is the Y signal that's going to come out on the left hand side. You need to kill some of the Gaussiers before he comes out but it's very important to get him past the middle of the stage otherwise when he dies the Donovan won't come out in time to keep this combo going. Once he comes out the usual applies. Push everyone back once again past the middle of the stage just to keep the next enemies coming out on time. Once you get into this section it's nothing too special to talk about other than pushing everybody back and you can do that any which way you fancy. What I will say is prioritize taking the Y signals, their movement makes it very hard to continue these combos. Now this section we need to look at a little bit more particular. So once I've got the people in the place that I want them as you can see down here on the right hand side, I use my grand upper to make sure I can get down to this dude. Once I take this guy out I understand that Donovan's going to be coming out sharpish. Then all I have to do is hit the bin, take the money and I choose to take the food and use my special to guarantee I can keep this combo going. Don't be afraid of the Gaussier coming out with the knife, the special will take care of him nicely. Now as through the next section, all I'm doing is the same old thing, I'm trying to push myself down the stage so I can get into the car section. So what you'll see here is I'm using the car to keep this combo going. What you want to do is just kind of time it out so you can blow the car up and collect this second star. I find it is important to collect this second star for the section with the robots coming up so please try and get that done. Now if you can get hold of that Y signal it's great. You want to finish him off before the Donovan's come out because when the Donovan's come out you can predict where they're going to go and you can use them to go into this section. So the goal for this section is to finish off these Kubos on the edge of the stage otherwise I won't be able to get down to continue. Now the way that I did it here wasn't optimal so let me show you the optimal way with Axel to finish them. So this is what I found the most useful is I choose to go for the top guy and the second guy will come up. Once I've got them both I do my forward special, I do my star I combo them again and before they can get bounced up behind me I do my second star and then it gives me enough of their energy missing to finish them off. So the only other thing we need to think about here is using your jump on special to keep this combo going. Once you've done that the rest is up to you. Good luck! Okay, so the first thing to do in stage two is get yourself as close to the back wall as possible. It stops people getting behind you and I can jab string. As you can see here, he was going to come and throw me, but I used my third punch, which is longer to catch him. Now, if you can't grab everybody, 
it's okay because there are other ways as you can see here to find your way to the prison door with this combo continuing now at the prison door i like to jump through with an attack and then i will neutral jump this bin to pick up the health in order to keep this combo going make sure you finish the officers past the middle of the screen if you don't the, the galaxies won't come out and the combo will be in jeopardy now as you can see here i'm pushing everybody to the corner to make sure i get into the next section okay so what you can see me highlighting here are two different techniques that i have to make sure that the last person i finish in this section is this guy the reason for that is that he will follow me up the screen and I can finish him with a grand upper that always guarantees I can get to this Barney. For some reason the grand uppers seem to continue combos longer for me. So that's a good tip. Now the next thing I'm doing is I'm just ensuring I'm taking out everybody and trying my best to push them close to the wall and you'll see why now. The reason why I say bonus for this section is because it is not guaranteed and these dicks purposely named dick is because you can't predict they're going to be in the corner all the time but if you can this is a way to continue the combo now you continue this combo like this and the rest of the stage is yours and welcome to the cargo ship so you can take out the people here in any which way you really fancy just the one thing you want to make sure is you're on the right side for this moment here so i line myself up nicely and do my jumping special knowing that he will follow me down and we can continue the combo into this section so the next thing i'm thinking about is i want to blow up the barrel here so i can collect the star uh, in time to use it later on in the stage this is a stage you can do a full combo on so it's useful to have that second star this technique I used was blowing up the barrel, but as you can see, there's many different ways you can get to the next section. As long as your back is against the wall in general, you'll find that it's possible to continue into the next section. Axel is more difficult than others just because he can't run over to the corner. But instead, I use my jumping special like I did there yeah, to keep the dead bodies going. Now, once I've done that, I push everyone to the wall as usual and here's a special moment. I use my jumping special to hit him into the barrel and combo him off of it. You don't always have to combo him like that, but I find that it's a easier way to ensure the combo to continue because he can be very tricky. Now, all you have to do is take out these guys because you have the food in the top right corner, generally gives you enough time to collect the food and get into the next section. So once you get into the next section of the cargo ship, what I would say is avoid jumping as much as you can. With the Francis characters and the Donovan characters, they will punish you for jumping. So what I use is Axel's charge attack and I use any weapons I can get hold of in the stage, not to mention throwing people when I can. This will probably get you to the end of the stage and give you the option to go in and fight the boss if you dare. So if you come into this section, well done, you're a brave man. So the only tip I can really give you here is use your star first thing up to get rid of these guys. After that, it's really a chess game of following her around to make sure she doesn't make any more Super Saiyan Galsiers. Now I'm going to release this full video on the channel, so please consider subscribing and you can see the tasty ending that I got for this full combo stage 3 perfect. And welcome to stage 4 home of the annoying jumping girls. But we got this, so first thing we do is we head to the barrel to bait out the girls to the left. Once we've handled those, we can always hit the barrel to keep the combo going if someone hasn't already come to you. And then of course, push everything back towards the wall. Now here you can see, I bait the girls out, walk away so I can quickly come into them with a combo. Now the next thing I'm thinking about doing is here, is waiting for the last two girls to come out on the left. Once they've come out, I can focus on just taking out everybody towards the screen. Now you can see here, I move up the screen to do my jumping special. And I actually had to do two jumps in this case, but sometimes you don't have to. Once I get my back against the wall, it's just a matter of just sending them off the stage. I don't need to worry about pushing them so much uh, as just finishing them because with the money and the food at the top of the stage, that'll be enough to keep this combo going. 
So take these barrels out and head straight to the money. Once you take the money, you'll be able to either grab one of these girls or completely take them all out as I can show you here. After picking them up the money, a slight movement to the right meant that I could take them all out with one special. And here's the tricky part. So once you handle all these annoying girls, you need to get yourself in position to jump across this gap. When you jump up and forward, you need to wait long enough to hit your air special, otherwise you'll fall in the gap. Now taking this money should give you enough time to go and jump before you even see the Donovans appear and you should be able to get them with your flying kick. Now the rest of this, they'll all come to you, but if you're finding this section difficult, try and use the girls against each other like this. Pick up the star because it will be useful. And what I'm doing now is I'm thinking I need to grab this weapon. So luckily I take her out and I use the weapon to continue the combo into the next section. And here I use my jumping special and my star to take out the Barneys. And what you wanna be doing is thinking about getting the last opponents to the bottom right of the screen. As you can tell, it's obvious that we're gonna to have to let go of the retro stage, which is above us. But once I can see that these two Donovans and this Y signal is on the stage, I start making my way towards the right hand side. Luckily he follows me and I can get into the next section. And now we're in the next section, you can see I hit my jumping special too early. So I would recommend going to the top of the stage and you'd probably connect that. If you can grab one of the weapons and bring it down with you, that would probably be even better so you could throw it across. But either way, once you're in here, the rest is up to you. Good luck. And if you made it this far into the video, thank you so much. You guys are legends. So thank you so much for the support. Please consider subscribing, liking, sharing the video, and let us know more importantly in the comments what you think of the video and if you guys are actually trying these tips and tricks. While making this video, I made some of my best high scores. So I will be releasing the footage as separate videos for you guys. And if you have any ideas for any other videos you want me and Victor to make, just let us know. Otherwise, peace, I'm out of it.